if you're watching this, hopefully means that you have followed the course on other single processing uh, applications until here. You just reached the half point, so congratulations. And uh, no need now to give up. Uh, very interesting topics are still coming. Last week, uh, we talked about the sinusoidal model. And now, following in the path towards a more flexible and higher level representation of sounds, we present the harmonic model. We will first introduce the actual model, then talk about the difference between sinusoids, partials, and harmonics, then discuss the difference between polyphonic and monophonic signals, then present uh, the idea of how to detect these uh, harmonics uh, from a sound, given that we know the fundamental frequency, which is going to be a topic of uh, the next uh, lecture. And then we'll put it together into an analysis synthesis system, uh, the harmonic model system. So the equation of the harmonic model is very close to the one of the sinusoidal model uh, that we already explained. Uh, there is a single but very significant difference. The frequencies of the sinusoids are all multiples of a fundamental frequency. Thus, it's only valid for single source sounds produced by periodic or pseudo-periodic oscillations, like the sounds produced by many musical instruments. So if we look at the equation, well, the output uh, signal, yh, uh, where we emphasize the idea that it's a harmonic signal with the h, that is, uh, of course, uh, the index n, is a sum of uh, our, our cosine uh, functions, time varying with a time varying amplitude and time varying frequency, but here the frequency is not f sub r, where we would allow any frequency for any sinusoid, but is r f sub zero. So that means that uh, they are all multiples of f sub zero. A small r is an integer value, so it means that all the sinusoids are either uh, for different values of r, either the fundamental frequency or any of its uh, multiples. Um, we can also express the model in the frequency domain. The time varying spectrum of a harmonic sound is the sum of all the time varying spectra of the harmonics. So in this uh, case, we are uh, expressing the idea of uh, a sinusoid being the transform of the window uh, that we use in the analysis. So uh, the, the the spectrum, the overall harmonic spectrum, is the sum of all these windows, uh, which a scaling factor of an amplitude a uh, and a shifting uh, factor of uh, minus r f, in which we are uh, placing these uh, windows at the appropriate location of the sinusoid. Okay, this is basically what we talked about in the sinusoidal model, but now again here restricting the frequencies to be multiples of the fundamental uh, frequency. Um, here we show spectrograms of the sinusoidal tracks of two sounds that have different characteristics. The top uh, sound is an inharmonic sound, uh, a note of a vibraphone, and the bottom uh, plot is a harmonic sound, a voice uh, singing many a vowel. Let's listen to the top one, which is uh, this vibraphone sound. Okay, this is a very simple sound, uh, but it has um, lines that are uh, non-harmonic, so that means they are not, not multiples of a fundamental frequency. Some are are related. So in fact, we listen a, a pitch in this in this note, but there is uh, some of these sinusoids that are clearly not perfect multiples of this uh, fundamental. Instead, the second sound, which is a, a voice sound, which varies, so it's a little more complex. No, 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 no. Okay, so this is the sound of uh, Vignesh uh, singing, and uh, here we see that the the lines, the sinusoidal lines are very much multiples of a fundamental. They are multiples, in fact, of the first line. And this is the typical structure of a harmonic sound. Um, in order to better understand the concept of harmonics, it's important to understand the difference between sinusoids, partials, and harmonics. Many people get confused with that. So a sinusoid is a mathematical function. So it's a, a function that we compute from an equation and that is, uh, it has a, an analytical uh, representation and therefore comes from uh, a mathematical uh, point of view. 
so the the top plot is uh, clearly the uh, spectrum of uh, tools of such uh, mathematical functions to sinusoids that we have uh, computed with the signed uh, function uh, a partial instead is a component of a signal that is periodic and stable and that can be modeled as a slowly time varying sinusoid okay so here we introduce the concept of a real sound a partial is a concept that comes from uh, analyzing uh, a real signal and that has a certain behavior that can be approached can be modeled with this mathematical concept that is the sinusoidal function okay so this second plot is uh, uh, one spectrum of the vibraphone in which we see that there are several of these components in the spectrum that can be approached or can be modeled uh, with the idea of a sinusoid others not so in here clearly there is uh, some very clear sinusoidal components and some other aspect of the spectrum which might be is not uh, so easily uh, modeled with uh, the idea of sinusoids and finally a harmonic is a partial of a sound uh, that is a multiple of a fundamental frequency so it can also be modeled as a slowly time varying uh, sinusoid but it has this added restriction that has to be a multiple of a given uh, frequency so in this uh, last plot that is the oboe sound we see these uh, very the peaks the top peaks these crosses these are clearly the multiples of the first peak which is the the fundamental frequency but there is other crosses which are not harmonic they are not multiples of this fundamental frequency these are maybe artifacts or maybe part of some signal that is underneath or maybe some side load okay and uh, looking at the phase spectra of the same signals it also helps to understand uh, some of these concepts so the, the the top one is the phase of these uh, two sinusoids we see this very flat area in the main lobes of the two uh, sine waves in the the second plot with the vibraphone sounds we clearly some areas that are quite flat where the cross is and that so hopefully means that they are kind of sinusoidal and some others crosses are not in a in a stable region a phase region uh, so that means that maybe they are not uh, sinusoids and finally on the oboe sound we see the same thing some uh, some of the crosses are clearly in a flat region and this uh, clearly means that it's in a stable uh, component so it's a it's a flat phase a stable component and some of the crosses are not in such a such areas though so that might give some indication that they are not uh, sinusoidal or they cannot be modeled easily uh, as sinusoidal components in order to use the harmonic model we need to identify the sound sources that are harmonic in the case of a polyphonic signal, uh, there are several sound sources. And for example, there might be several instruments playing at the same time, and some might be harmonic, some maybe not. So for example, this top plot is the, a fragment of a Carnatic uh, music uh, concert in which uh, we hear a voice and some accompanying instrument. Let's listen to that. So, the goal would be to identify the harmonics of the voice sound and looking at these sinusoidal tracks well it may be not that easy uh, but still it can be done we can uh, try to track the harmonics of these voice sounds or other uh, harmonic components that uh, might be present a monophonic signal includes just one single source like the one of uh, below which is just a single voice that we already heard so it's Vignesh so, so he is in fact the same singer than the, the, the voice above but clearly here we can see the time varying uh, harmonics uh, much easier and these sinusoidal tracks that we have identified uh, can show very clearly the harmonics of the voice so the question is how do I identify the harmonics of a sound source being uh, in a monophonic uh, signal or in a polyphonic signal we are just uh, focusing on harmonic sounds so we would like to find the harmonics in a monophonic signal or in one of the sound sources of a polyphonic signal 
The major problem is the identification of the fundamental frequency of a sound source, and this uh, will be covered in the next lecture. So here we will just assume that we know the fundamental frequency of the sound. So we'll focus on the concept of a harmonic, and we'll define that as being a spectral peak whose frequency is close to a multiple of the fundamental frequency. And we can uh, formulate uh, this, this idea with this equation in which we defined the FP, uh, a peak, uh, uh, the concept of it being a harmonic, will be when this, uh, the, the absolute value of the difference between F sub P and a multiple of uh, F sub zero for a given frame, L, is uh, smaller than a threshold that uh, we give. And at the same time, we define this idea of uh, being uh, stable as uh, having been lived for uh, some time, as having been uh, inexistent for some time. So we, we also make the restriction that this F sub H uh, have, have had some existence for some number of frames before the current frame. So we, we define a capital L as the number of frames, the minimum number of frames that we need to have in order for a harmonic to be defined as a harmonic. Uh, the implementation of the harmonic model is a modification of the sinusoidal model that uh, we saw last week. Here we introduce uh, two uh, model, models. Uh, one is the F0 detection uh, uh, algorithm that again requires to be treated separately and we'll discuss uh, uh, in the next uh, lecture and the idea of the harmonic detection which was uh, what we talked about the idea that uh, we uh, select the peaks that are harmonic of the fundamental frequency and the rest is exactly the same than the sinusoidal model uh, so let's uh, this is an example of an analysis synthesis of the sinusoidal model that was the, this Vignesh sound, the harmonics of that. Of course, that uh, always might have some problems in the areas in which we don't have a clear harmonics, like in the transitions, in this case even in the, in the, in the consonants of silences, uh, we might have some problems, but in general it works. So uh, nah, from this nah, sound that uh, nah, we already no. heard, uh, nah, 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 nah. This is the synthesized sound, which is uh, quite close uh, to the original one. So for this sound, the harmonic model works quite well. Um, the concept of harmonic oscillations in the study of many natural phenomena uh, are, is quite present in many, in many books and references, and you will be able to find them in Wikipedia. You can find many of that. Of course, there is not much when we deal with specific uh, music signals and sounds and the harmonicity of sounds but still you will find uh, some things on, uh, on, the, on Wikipedia uh, and on some books. And again, the, the sounds that you heard that I played come from Freesound and uh, you can find uh, all these, the code for these plots that I showed in, uh, in, the, uh, in the GitHub uh, repository. Uh, so we have covered the harmonic model, uh, so if we can use it to analyze and synthesize signals. The application possibilities uh, we will see that are much larger than with the sinusoidal model, and we will show some examples of that. The difficult step is the detection of the fundamental frequency, and that's what we will cover in the next lecture. So see you uh, in the next class.